Hello? Girl, let me tell you. I miss my cocoa butter kisses, hope you smile when you listen. There ain't no competition, just competing for attention and you like it. I'm not on no games, well baby I've been creeping and you ain't been the same. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel, sis. For today's video, as y'all can see, as y'all obviously can see, is I am doing my entrepreneur, finally doing my entrepreneur video. And this whole entire series is gonna be called Boss Life because I feel like entrepreneur life is just so typical. So we're gonna call it Boss Life. Obviously, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I package and ship off my orders. This is something that I'm new to. This is literally my first time shipping off orders. So this is gonna be like a trial and error, getting y'all, showing y'all like a raw and uncut edit of me shipping out these orders. I just launched my website today and I launched it at midnight or well, midnight-ish. Now it is 1.55 in the afternoon. So I'm gonna be showing y'all the orders that I do have right now and how I package them, how I make them look all cute or whatever, and actually how I ship them off through Shopify. I do use Shopify to ship off my order. Well, I use Shopify as my website builder and you know, to ship off orders and I use, I'm gonna be using USPS um, just so because it's easier for me. So before I even get to this video, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I thank y'all so much for 3,000 subscribers. I am like truly bless us like thank you so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you can always be notified when I post a video so yeah let's get straight into this video oh one more thing I know you probably like bitch how much shit you gotta tell us but make sure y'all shop with me trap house cosmetic that will be in my description box below the link and everything make sure y'all shop i only i sell um lip gloss and squeeze and wine tubes like your typical lip gloss person and i also sell keychain lip glosses so they look like they look this is like an example but they look like this instead of they they don't have two on yours but they do have one i was just testing seeing how to make them but they come with this little little fur ball and all of them look like this until I get some more colors from uh, my vendor and yeah so I sell that so go shop but without further ado let's get into this video let me show y'all my packaging these are my packaging I use this bubble miller I got this from Amazon I can link it in the description box below so y'all are able to buy these i got the holographic ones i will say if you're selling anything other than lashes and um lashes or lip glosses or something like that these are a little bit too small like let me give y'all a reference this is a lip gloss tube um i don't know if that is a good reference or this is a water bottle and it's like the height of a water bottle and it's like twice the width so um yeah it's pretty small it's not that big so if you have if you are selling big things then i recommend something bigger um i didn't know they were this small but they work perfect for right now this is what i ship in i also got me a scale from um amazon as well this is my scale and i forgot how much this costs but i can link this in the description box as well yes yeah, so Let's, let me show y'all my, uh, let me refresh this. I'm gonna show y'all the orders. I don't know how any other website will work, but I definitely understand Shopify. So right now I have four orders, which ain't that bad because I just launched a few hours, or not a few hours ago, but I launched. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna show y'all this, so let me show y'all the orders. I have four orders and I'm on the orders page. So you go to all orders. Don't excuse my booty diggers, y'all. Just excuse them. But you go to all orders, the orders pop up, and there your there's your transaction. And as you can see, they say unfulfilled because they haven't been fulfilled yet. And we're finna go ahead and fulfill them. Go to the order number you just click on the order number and it will pop up hold up because i don't know if it's gonna pop up her address um, let's see okay this is her address so it'll pop up what she ordered 
and she ordered the gold digger in my glow and the shipping and taxes and stuff will pop up also i'm going to grab everything that she ordered and then i'm going to press create create shipping label whatever these are where my packages is but i already got some up there so i'm going to close this and i believe okay so my products are up in here these are the squeeze tubes that's in here and then my wine tubes and my um keychain glosses are in there so she ordered let me make sure because you know i ain't trying to mess up my order she ordered gold she ordered gold digger in my glow so gold digger so gold digger is um this gold one right here so this is gold digger gold digger because you know period and then this is my clear gloss and this is in my glow so let me close that hey y'all so i'm gonna show y'all how i package her these orders so these are the two um i keep everything in like these little uh little bins that i got from michael's and this is the bin with the packaging stuff and i got so much packaging y'all like when i talk when i tell you like you can have a brand when you have a brand you want to package anything nice and cute and i feel like that's what gets people to want to shop with you more so like the little um packaging like the bubble wrap packaging matters i don't know sometimes people just put it in i feel like when people just throw the products into like you know the priority mail little packages it's not it's like girl you could have put a little effort into there so i try to make all my packages look pretty so i use some of this confetti that i got from five below it's like holographic confetti um i also have different um treat bags i have a silver one and it looks like this and then i have a gold one and they're really cute like treat bags for you to put your products in I have these i got a whole bunch of these because this is what i'll be using to package majority of my orders they're loop little treat bags they're holographic and they, I got these from Five Below. So I'm gonna actually be using the holographic bag, so I'm gonna pull this one out, and I'll be using, where did it go? I'll be using my holographic uh, confetti. These are my thank you cards. I can show y'all how to make these. I can show y'all how to make labels, business cards, all that, sis, because I know how to make it. Taking the package, I get my little baggie. I put, in my glow and gold digger in there and i try to make it look presentable and stand it up so like that they come with little ties what are they at little ties look like this you tie it up and i feel like all this matters like people are going to be excited like they just got a package because it looks so pretty so just like that her two products is in there. I'm going to put her products in here. You just take the little baggie and you put it inside here. I'm gonna fold this down. Actually, I might end up just cutting this because this is too much. You just cut, I'm gonna cut this because this is a smaller one and it looks, it's perfectly fine. You wanna put it in there. You put a thank you card. I don't have my business cards yet, but they will be coming soon. Um, but you put a thank you card in there. And um, what else? I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. And then I'm gonna put my little confetti. Just grab some of the confetti like this and just put it in there because I feel like that's cute to me that's cute she opened it she see the confetti and it's all pretty and stuff and nicely packaged and that is her package and then it's this little adhesive little strip take it off you fold it down bam boom so um, because I don't have a lot of orders yet, I can really just create the shipping label now instead of 
how some people they just po um, put everything out first and then um, create the shipping labels and do all that other stuff. But I, it's, like I said, I don't really got a lot of orders, so I don't got to do all that. Um, I am going to go into my, I have a shipping container. This is my shipping container and it has like everything I need to ship. Label on there, I have these fragile stickers and they actually come with your shipping labels. So it comes with your shipping labels that you buy off Amazon, or the ones I did at least came. And I always like to put this on here because they be being reckless with they uh with they um when they give people mail and stuff. So I like to put it right here, and it also gives it that extra security. So it just says handle with care, fragile. Thank you. Okay, don't be tossing my damn packages around like uh you ain't got no sense. And I'm gonna show you guys how to print this shipping label. So this is my actual printer. I have the Canon TR four five twenty off the of Amazon. I believe it was fifty dollars. It's a wireless Bluetooth printer. It facts scans and um, copies and prints to do all the good stuff. So without showing her address, I'm gonna show y'all. It says create shipping label. I'm actually gonna turn on my printer. You just press create shipping label. So once you create shipping label, it'll show the address up here and you're gonna scroll down. This is my small package already in there. I'm actually going to weigh this package real quick. That's when your scale comes in hand. So you just turn your scale on and you let it zero out. And I'm going to weigh my package. And it's weighing in ounces. So it's 1.80 ounces. So you go in here and um, so you go back in here and you wanna change it to ounces right here put 1.83 in here and um, this is right here is what you will pay so I'm doing USPS first, first class package um, so that will be the one I will pay so I will click on that and I will pay the two dollars and seventy four cents because they pay for part it all depends how much you're shipping. So some people be taxing, like they shipping be $10. And I'm sorry, if I go to your damn website and I feel like your product is not worth that $10 shipping fee, I will exit out of your website. So I do have to pay the $2.74. My credit card is already in there, so that is able to be done. So um, I'm gonna press buy shipping label and it's saying purchasing shipping label. So this is her address and you can press print shipping label. So I already paid for it right there. It just says I paid the $2.74 and print shipping label. Um, but right now I'm finna um, print the package. Basically the package slip is what they ordered and the print shipping label is the label that goes on side their package. You wanna press print packing slip. Give me an option to print it. And it just looks like that. Um, I'm gonna, like I got everything pre set out. So I found this easier. So um, I can just set this out and then put in what they ordered and it'll be easier. So whatever system works for you is what works for you. Here is her packing, her slip. Hold on. Here's her slip so she knows what she ordered. And I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna cut some of this off because this is too much. We're back to square one and we're going to print off shipping label and I'm gonna change my I'm gonna go ahead and change this paper to um, a different type of paper. My actual shipping label paper in there. You just press print for the shipping label. I just realized that the freaking slip that I'm supposed to put on the inside here, I just sealed it up. So like I said, trial and error y'all. I'm actually close friends to her. So I'm sorry girl, we just gonna leave your packing slip out but I learned my lesson, trial and error. I'm glad it was her package and not somebody that really actually needed it. But 
since it's her package i'm sorry girl you probably gonna notice who you are once you get your package but the shipping label is out this is the shipping label basically this is the package this is the shipping label you really can't see it and i'm actually going to use my cutting board because my package like i said my package isn't that big so the shipping labels come really kind of big so i'm gonna use my cutting board to um make it slimmer the shipping label and i'm just gonna peel this off and put this on the package to take it off put it on the package it sticks on and this is her package nice and pretty yes okay so i had to take the filters off but once you go back to your um order page it will show down here that it is fulfilled shipping label is purchased and it's out the way so now i have to do these three so i'm gonna keep doing each one now that i showed y'all of how it goes i'm gonna go to each order so for hers i'm gonna go to the order number like i stated she ordered a chopper's delight you're gonna go in here and my Trapper's Delight is this glitter gloss. It looks like this, and it's a glitter gloss, real pretty. I'm gonna put hers down there. Go to the next one. It's Dirty Sprite is this purple color with a little shimmer. And she got a Plug Love want to so then i'm gonna put that with her package and i'm gonna go to the next order and she ordered a mi glow which is the clear gloss and a kobe limited edition and that is my want to it's hers so these are my orders and now i'm finna do the whole process again of printing shipping labels packaging them and all that stuff so i'm just gonna show you guys how i package them So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna talk to y'all with one more time of how I package this last order I have to do. Um, I already basically just let everything out, what I needed or whatever. She only ordered Trapper's Delight. There's Delight in here. Wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up like this. Take these little ties. Wrap it around here. I'm gonna cut this excess off because it's too much. Just like that. Put it inside your package. Cards, business cards inside there. And I'm gonna add some confetti. This confetti. some of that in there just so when she open it and what you saw me doing earlier is taking I don't have sticky notes so I can't really do it but you'll see me take a piece of paper and my pen and I write the number of the order and um, 
the person who ordered it. Since I'm on here, I'm gonna show y'all how I create the um, slip and the label one more time. And then I'll show y'all how I do it for every single last one of it, just a run through. We basically went to the order, it's order number 1002. She ordered the Trappers Delight. I grabbed her package right here. You're gonna press um, uh, create shipping label, turn it on, make sure it's zeroed out. You're gonna weigh your package. It's 1.27, we're gonna round it up to 1.3. You wanna change this to ounces and it's 1.3 ounces. By shipping label is $2.74 that I will have to pay. By shipping label, it says purchasing shipping label and it is fulfilled. And now you can print off the package slip and the print shipping labels. you guys so basically i just finished off for my orders um some orders just came in so i'm gonna actually i kind of set up like a little plan where i'm going to fulfill orders at a certain time and whatever the time deadline is those orders will get fulfilled the next day so anyway these are my orders that i fulfilled and that's how I package my orders using Shopify and basically how I package them and make them look cute or whatever. And I feel like when you have cute packaging, it will make you go anywhere, like literally. Like, I don't see why people can't just, like little stuff like this is cheap. Like this, I believe was the most three, $2. Um, that pay, the wrapping, the little holographic wrapping I used to wrap all the lip glosses in, $2 at five below. Um, those little gift bags was $2 at Dollar General. Get, go to like little party, little area places, and they have the cute, really cute stuff that you can put inside your packaging. And I feel like that's what make your packaging or your product or your company stand out is your packaging. Also your product, but your packaging is like, is key too. These are all my packages. They're already fulfilled. They're, once you print off your shipping label, it fulfills it for you. Also with Shopify, it also sends them a confirmation. I have it to where when you, you have to put an email in, it's mandatory to put an email in and because that's where your tracking information is gonna come from. So make sure y'all shop with me. I sell wine tubes, lip, uh, squeeze tubes, and keychain lip glosses at the moment. I am working on my skincare products um, as we speak. So it's not just gonna be a lip gloss company. It's gonna be way bigger than what y'all expect. But yeah, I think all the four orders that came in right after I launched, I appreciate all of y'all. And yeah, so make sure y'all shop with me. Link will be in the description box below. And that's it for today's video. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all.